Nearly a dozen Washington and Lee students are recovering the charred remains of their belongings today after their Lexington apartment was destroyed in a fire early Wednesday morning. WS House 10's Rob Manch is at the building tonight. And uh, Rob, this has got to be a tough day for those students. How are they holding up? Well, John, the, the, I spoke with several of those students, and actually they're faring pretty well given the circumstances here. The community here in Lexington has actually come together to provide these kids with food and clothes, and their uh, landlord even helped them find alternate housing. We know from fire crews that the fire began on the wooden fire escape behind the building from some discarded smoking implements. Many of those students say they owe their life to this girl, Washington and Lee student, senior Kayla Futak, who was the first to notice the blaze and alert everyone on the floor to evacuate. At that point, your mind is just, it's, it's go. You have to get out of there. Uh, I grabbed some pants and didn't even get any shoes and just woke up my last um, apartment mate on the third floor and we tried to get everyone else out. Futek was back on site today searching for belongings but all she recovered was her wallet. The landlord Wes Perkins says people in the community and at Washington and Lee have embraced these students providing them with clothes and food. The whole community has embraced uh, uh, you know, our students here. Uh, we as well we've offered our homes uh, for them to live in. Well, Perkin tells me at this point, all 10 students have found alternate housing. And I think the amazing part of this is that all 10 of those students did escape safely, with the only casualties being two pet rats. In Lexington, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.